Yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah, we had a few guys with some some knocks, uh, but nothing unusual. Uh, terrific win, obviously. We got challenged uh, pretty strongly by Geelong, particularly at the start of that last quarter. So to be able to stand up under pressure and and, and to finish the way we did was particularly pleasing. Um, everyone held their breath when Ablett went off. He could come back on, but how is how is he feeling? Today? Yeah, well, they're, they're still assessing him, but um, he feels pretty good in himself. He's he's recovered pretty well, so. Um, you know, early indications are that it uh, that it's okay. So, you know, if anything changes, we'd obviously uh, um, communicate that. But but at this point, he's uh, he's recovered pretty well. Just some general soreness, I think. So no worries about what, um, playing in Shanghai. Shouldn't be at this point, no. But as you, you know, as we know, like um, today's all about reviewing the players and recovery and any injury concerns. So that'll all play out in the fullness of time. Um, but as I said, early early indications are that he's okay. Tom Lynch said last week the boys were still waiting to click. Do you think that has finally happened? Well, look, it's a week-to-week -week proposition, uh, this game. There's no doubt about that. That You know, it throws up challenges every week. But I thought our uh, our mental preparation going into the game was really positive. Um, and the player group and on the back of, of uh, Rocket talking about, uh, you know, of us being really positive about how we were tracking. And I thought the players, their mindset going into the game was really strong. So... Um, you know, we we played the way that we planned to play, and we were able to carry it out for for the entire four quarters, really. So that was the pleasing part of the game, really. How does an overseas trip kind of weigh into their year? It's a bit of a disruption. Do you think that will kind of mess with them a bit mentally? Uh, no, nah, look, not at all. Like, uh, as a footy club, we've done an enormous amount of work in preparation for this game, and. And for us, it's about trying to keep it as, as normal as you can. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we're travelling overseas, so we get that. Um, but what we see is an opportunity for us to go four and four, you know, at, at the break for us. Well, look, you know, the win on the weekend gave us an opportunity to reignite our season. Um, so we recognise that. So we look at it as an opportunity to consolidate on the back of our win against Geelong and, you know, to go and play against Port Adelaide, who, who have actually been playing some really good footy, Port, so they'll present, um, you know, a real challenge for us. But we'll try and keep it as normal as we can, um, you know, so our, our, uh, our training week will look very similar to what it, what it would if we were here or, sorry, or we're, you know, if we were travelling, you know, interstate to Melbourne or, uh, or Sydney or one of those uh, states. But, um, yeah, look, we're, we're excited. As, as a footy club, we're excited about going and... Again, you know, it's an opportunity to win another game and get another four points. So does preparation kind of focus more on the mental side of it rather than the physical? Well, it's, it's always both. Um, and our high-performance team have been terrific and they've put a lot of uh, forward planning um, in place and a lot of thought around how we, um, how we best travel and how we best prepare the players. But um, it's always a balancing act for the, for the player group, um, you know, getting the the physical preparation right as well as the, the mental side of the game. So, But we're really confident that our player group are, are maturing, um, you know, as the season goes on. And, and they showed that on the weekend, that, they, that you know, the more they play together, the more mature they're getting and the more they're able to handle any, uh, you know, handle any distractions, anything that the game throws up. Do you think a win like that on the weekend does really gain respect from the other footy club? Ah, uh, look, you know, you, in this industry, you gain respect over a long period of time, and you know, we certainly have been searching for for the respect um, that that we want and we crave as a footy club. We know one game won't achieve that, but it certainly internally, you know, gives us real confidence that we're on the right path. That's that's really important. But you know, as I said, the games week in this competition, it's a week to week proposition. So for us to for us to earn the respect that we that we want, we need to we need to back up our performance from the weekend again. You know when we uh, when we go to China, and in the weeks following that, you know it's it's about you know our effort over a long period of time. Andy, you any, your reserves had a good win. Any uh, likely promotions? Oh, <laughs> you're taking 25 over to yeah. China. Yeah. But would there be any likely changes to the side from? The from, the, from the Geelong win? Um, well, we haven't had a, um, a chance to have a look at that yet, but we're really pleased with the Neufel uh, performance. Uh, obviously, Braden Fiorini 
uh, went back from the AFL team, went back and played particularly well. I think he had uh, got his hands on the footy a fair bit and kicked a couple of goals, and his defensive side of his game was was terrific as well. Um, you know, so that was that was really pleasing from from that perspective. So um, we'll have a look at it. Obviously, we want to reward good form in the NEFL, but at the same time, you know, trying to keep some continuity in the AFL is obviously important as well. So we'll have a look at that at match committee and. It's too early to, to predict whether or not we'll make changes on the back of that performance, but uh, you know it, it's it's a good it's a good challenge to have. Yeah. Brad Shear, did he do enough to retain his spot? Uh, well, it's always it's tough in his first game, wasn't it? We were really he didn't get a lot of the footy, uh, we know that, but he actually played a really important role for us. And uh, and and what we've been been building over a, a period of time is for for us not to rely on one or two or. or or, you know, too few players. So he played a really important role in our forward half for us um, and competed really strongly. So on the back of that, we were really pleased. Um, does it, is it enough to, for him to hold his spot in the side? Again, you know, that'll be a decision that we make as a coaching group. I, I can't make that decision on my own. But, you know, look, he's, um, um, it was exciting for him to play and, uh, and he had a real crack. We thought that... You know, all 22 of our players gave great effort and that, that was what we are looking for, so it was good. Yeah. Is, you talked about sort of that consistency, right? So the first two games were quite low for what we all expected from the team and then you had great performances against Hawthorne and then you went down again against Adelaide and back up again with a great win against Geelong. Like, yep. Is the goal to minimise that... The, the difference between those highs and those lows? Yeah, absolutely. You, you've hit the nail on the head. That's, that's what it is. And the best teams in the competition, the teams that are successful, are the ones that maintain consistency. There's no doubt about that. Um, and that's what we're searching for. Um, that's Internally, that's what we expect. Um, and you're right, we haven't, we haven't been able to achieve that um, as of yet. But it's an ongoing challenge for us, you know. And we're really pleased that, you know, our, our group... Um, are heading in the right direction, um, but it's a, it's a challenge we've got to meet head on. So when we reviewed the game, you know, we, we certainly looked at the things that we planned leading into the game and did we execute them, and we thought we did for a, a greater period of the game. Um, but we've got, to, we've got to bring that to the table again this week, so uh, it's a big challenge. Those sorts of consistency things are very like, mental attitude often are the, the keys, and Rocket earlier in the season talked about that the boys don't handle the mental side when they're the favourites. Like, how much work do you have to put into the mental part of the game? Because those seems to be both related to the attitude of players necessarily. Like, yeah. yeah well, you, you put a lot of... You've got to put a lot of time. You, you spend a lot of time and energy and effort in in building uh, the, the mental side of the game. It also comes with experience as well. You know, you, you learn so much from being in situations and... The more games that we that we get into our, our younger players, the more games we play together as a as a team, um, you know, with, without changing the team too much. Again, that helps with, you know, the continuity. It certainly helps with consistency um, across the board. So um, that's what we're searching for. There's no doubt about that. And the best teams bring not only consistent effort, but they bring consistency in playing their role um, within the structure as well, and their game plan and their playing style. So. Um, there's no doubt that that's what we're looking for, and that's what we expect, um, and you know, and that's what we'll continue to try and pick our team based on. Um, Andy, you touched on uh, the pollution concerns in China and some players not going over um, due to their asthma and breathing concerns. Can you um, tell us a bit more about that? Like, how many players are looking like they might not get? Uh, look, I don't. Th I'm not uh, fully aware. But what I know is that our, our medical staff and high performance team have put in an enormous amount of work and preparation. So they're across all of those uh, issues, if you like. And as a footy club, I think we're pretty confident that, uh, you know, that our boys are well prepared. And I can't see too many um, issues with that, although I, I haven't sat down with the doctor myself. But certainly, um, you know, we expect our squad of 25 um, that, that we take away with us, um, you know, will be pretty similar to, to what we've had in the last couple of weeks, really, barring any injury concerns that, you know, that, that could play out over the next couple of days. But generally, you know, we, we've got a, a reasonable uh, bill of health and it does, it's not a real concern for us at this point. Uh, so, sorry. Sorry. I was about to say, um, the business part as well, I would just presume all the players get... Are you business? Oh, no, no, I'm not business, no. <laughs> yeah, I presume all players immediately 
assistant coaches don't get business cards. So all going well, the 22 who finished the John game should be on the pot. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That, that's what our plan is. Yep. Um, you can't always control that, obviously, depending on, you know, how your recovery and your injury assessment plays out over the sort of next 24 hours. Um, but, yeah, that's what we're planning. Because, again, it goes hand in hand with the, the consistency that we're looking for, you know, and if we can keep those players together, that's what we're looking for. And is Ablett's concern that right child or is it just general sort of Again, I haven't had a briefing from the from the medicos yet, but I know talking to him after the game, he was fairly confident that it was not too bad. It was, it was pretty good. And he's, as you know, he's, he's he's in tune with his body pretty well, so he he has a good feel for where it's at. But we always, obviously, precautionary, um, make sure we have a good look at all of them and assess them all on their merits. So, um, you know, hopefully, we're pretty confident he'll be okay. Mr. Marley, do you know what the split is with just with the business class scenario with how many? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not sure. But but certainly, I think you know if there's opportunities for for any of the players if they needed to to be in there, then then we'll take care of that. Yeah.